So after um, doing this on the back doors, I found that when you're covering obviously the dark blue and you need to use the hammerite, um, you need a decent coat of paint or an undercoat to actually stick the top coat to. You need about three or four coats ideally, but um, this first coat I do is basically like stipping and cross hatching and just to get um, something for the next coat to stick to basically. Um, I have put mask and tape on, I'm usually quite a messy worker and this is really only um, a bottle top because I can't afford to uh, get the van wrapped or anything with carpet and anyway with the cats they'd only claw it and climb on it and um, you get smelly carpet. So I thought I'm going to try to tie the van together by the white paint and seeing how effective it looks against the wood on the back doors. Um, I thought well we're going to take this challenge up of doing the inside. Um, it's obviously more affordable, very time consuming though. And I'm using a small brush purely to save time on the next layer. Um, on the back doors I did a quick like sweep of that, just like that, and um, then I stippled the next layer and then I added another coat. Um, and then I sort of touched up with a small brush the areas that I wanted to have a, that I've missed that I couldn't really do with a big brush. Um, but seeing this is quite delicate inside, um, I'm doing it with a small brush straight away just to get a bit of cross hatching in for the base coat. And then hopefully when I come to do another coat on, um, then I'll fill in the gaps and be a bit more effective. I don't mind a bit of blue showing through because obviously it ties in with the van and the colour of the outside. Um, but what I don't want is any sort of big gaping holes of blue. It does dry quite quickly, it dries within the hour. Um, so by the time I've sort of finished this sort of bottom coat, this cross hatch coat, I'm going to go back to where I started and put another layer on. So it's very, very good. I'm using um, Hammerite White Smooth. I don't really know what the hammer look looked like, but this has got a really nice finish to it. It's quite a hard coat, it's got a bit of a shine to it. And I'm really, really pleased with the effect. So much so that I would actually um, like to have a van painted with hammer right on the outside because of how it looks like. Now, because this van is, is, is blue on the outside, I'm keeping that because it's quite stealth. Um, with the darkened windows. And then when you walk inside or the back doors are open for the shop, then obviously you've got this wonderful transformation and it's quite, you know, full on and shows itself off really, really well. I have to say it's good I've got the mask and tape but because I've, it does drop everywhere. Um, and the last thing I want to do is um, ruin things like my tap. I know I've really done it a bit hash job, get some mask and tape on that. But um, I didn't want any drops on it. So I'm going to carry on with this. But I thought I'd put a little bit on video what I'm doing because <laughs> it's a bit different to cats isn't it and I haven't really had any sort of videos to do um, myself because obviously Liam did the main build on this um, so I'll get round to doing other videos of um, cooking in here and my life in here and do some interviews with people when I'm out and about and some decent filming um, but obviously we mainly sort of get some records of the kittens and the cats as they were trained and grown up as well. That was very important for me to get that. And obviously for my records too. Anyway, I'll get back to you when I've uh, finished this and maybe do the top coat or maybe when I'm finished. We'll see how time goes and how the video goes. So anyway, bye for now. I'll catch you later.